Welcome to today's news. The news updates. Tinumbu Yakubu under heavy fire as five IMEX staff expose how they were forced to manipulate results against Tinumbu. Welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. For kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, please listen to the end. A case challenging the results of the 2023 presidential election took an interesting turn yesterday as the presidential tribunal court adjourned proceedings. Former vice president and candidate for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, alleged that the election was manipulated to favor President Bola Tinumbu of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. In a 66 page petition, Atiku accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, HIMIC, of employing third party device to skew the election results in favor of the APC and its candidates. It specifically claimed that the INEC replaced its in house ICT experts, GD114, with an IT consultant named Suleiman Farouk, who allegedly facilitated the installation of this third, third party mechanism. Article argued that Farouk managed a device management system, DMS, that interfered with a bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS, and the IREF portal data. According to him, this system allowed INEC to manipulate the election results in favor of Tinumbu. In Wednesday's court session, Chief Chris Uche, counsel for the petitioners, announced that they had called five INEC at org staff, staff members who were involved in the election conduct to serve as witnesses. However, the lead counsel for INEC, Abubakar Mahmoud, raised an objection stating that he needed time to review the witness statements and verify their identities with INEC. Justice Aruno Temani and the five-member panel initially suggested a short break, but later decided to adjourn proceedings to Thursday. This would provide INEX Council with enough time to complete their investigation. During the proceedings, certified copies of the presidential election results from 10 local government areas of Kogi states were submitted as evidence. Undubuize Umobu, the chairman of the PDP in Anambra State, also testified that election results were not uploaded to INEX IREF portal in real time in approximately 30 polling units he visited. Atiku is urging the courts to declare him the valid winner of the presidential election and is requesting the withdrawal of the certificate of return issued to President Tinumbu by INEC. The adjournment of the court proceedings has heightened anticipation among supporters of both parties as the case is seen as a significant test of Nigeria's electoral system. The court's decision will ultimately determine the outcome of the disputed election 
and could have far-reaching implications for the country's political landscape. The next court session on Thursday is expected to shed more light on the allegations made by Atiku and provide an opportunity for INEX Council to present their findings. The highest of the nation will be fixed on the proceedings as the judicial process unfolds and the truth behind the contested election is sought. The proceedings in which still continues, whereby Tin Ipadon article said that he needs to be declared the president and that INEC should dismiss or, or collect back the certificate of return that INEC has given to Tinumbu. And article who wrote a 66 page petition against the INEC said the INEC employed a third party. Remember that during the presidential election, the INEC transferred their ICT experts so that they can bring in someone who will work with them and do the corruption together. They transferred him and they brought him and brought in an IT consultant. It was this IT consultant that helped them in installing the third party mechanism. And this third party mechanism is used to manipulate the election results in favor of Tinumbu. Because till now, citizens of Nigeria still believed that INEC rigged the election for the president, Tinumbu, and the courts should see evidences based on this, whereby Article brought in five INEC ad hoc staffs to serve as, as his witnesses that the election was rigged and they were under duress Why? They, they signed the, the INEC results. For the legal judge to the legal attorney of the INEC had to demand that he needs to do findings concerning these people, whether truly they worked for INEC. And I don't think INEC should have business with this because these are witnesses and they are not just any other person, they are witnesses for a particular party to witness that these and these. And if they are not the real INEC ad hoc staff, they, be, they should they know what the constitution says that as a, if you come as a witness and it is fake, then you'll be serving a seven year imprisonment. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take to this, dear listeners? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.